I view a relationship, any relationship in life or any situation that you're in where you have to work with other people, it's about a team. And in any team situation, roles are important, but in productive teams and healthy teams, roles are assigned based on what your strengths are and what your interests are and what your passions are. So when I think about work, for example, work team, something that me, like I know what I'm good at when, when it comes to work. I think I'm very good at big picture thinking, uh, future, future uh, or forward thinking. Uh, I'm very good at understanding concepts, bringing people together, managing a lot of different things, working under tight, tight deadlines and pressure. I'm very good at that. Something that I'm not very good at is attention, things that require attention to detail. That's not my strength. So when I think about uh, hiring managers, for example, let's say that a hiring manager is hiring a team, they have one person that's really strong with people, but very poor in attention to detail, they're probably gonna want the, their next hire to be somebody that can fill some of those gaps that the other person doesn't have. I think of the same thing about like a relationship where you're in a relationship with somebody and you have to understand what are my strengths, what are my weaknesses, and what are my goals in life? What do I want? And who is a person that I would want on my team that can complement me in working towards those goals? So roles are definitely important in any situation because life, I think, is about efficiency and effectiveness and clearly defined roles that are aligned with goals and skills, I think, help people be more effective and I do think that we as a people, black people, black families can use that structure, as you mentioned, to help us work towards some of these goals. So, so I do agree, but when it comes to traditional, uh, that's when I think this question gets very interesting.